hand of the universe, a big, big hand. Hallelujah. It's an honor for me to be bringing God's word to us this morning. And thank you. It is actually, let me tell you this, I want to lead you to pray. I feel in my spirit that you need to pray for yourself. So the next few minutes, I want to lead you to pray. Please be intentional. Life is a fight. It's either you are fighting or someone is fighting on your behalf. The fact that God has spoken good about you does not mean that there will not be battles. Because the devil is a lawbreaker. And it's not your well-wisher. So when prophecies go ahead of you, you do warfare with the prophecies. So when it's time for you to pray, I want you to pray as if you came alone by yourself to this service. Sometimes we don't even understand the kind of fight and the battles going on in our lives until we are faced with some storm. The beautiful lady that gave a testimony about the cancer. Mother and I have been holding her hands for months now. Sometimes you don't know the value of health until you are challenged. She was going to start selling her properties. In fact, there was one she had already put up for sale for four million, looking for buyers. Papa, Mama, help me pray that God will send buyers. So last Sunday, I told the Possibility Ground Church that you need to thank God for the things that did not happen. When my sister-in-law was misdiagnosed, you know these doctors sometimes, without their handwriting that nobody can understand. I know we have doctors here. Dr. O'Neill, can I still go on preaching? Dr. Femi, I can still go on. I don't know, I have to ask a doctor, why is it that your handwriting, no human being can read it? Only you by yourself. God, it's only, ah, ah, these doctors. Just because the first name was missed. So something, something, Adewumi. The entire Grace Villa. Hey, ha, what? Yeah. Scare. A bishop as calm as he will always be. He said, let's go for a second opinion. By the time we went back, they said, sorry, we thought, oh, it was thyroid that we gave you. Your own is, um, this Nigeria. So you wouldn't have gone for chemo. And that thing can kill. So when you see me roll on the ground because of her, it's been a long journey. Very long journey. Night. We're grateful to God. So when I tell you to pray, please make sure you pray. We're not pastoring you for fun. Zechariah chapter 1. From verse number 18 to 21. Zechariah chapter 1. Then lifted I up my eyes. King James's version, thank you. And saw, and behold, four horns. And I said unto the angel that talked with me, What be this? And he answered me, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. And the Lord showed me four carpenters. Then said I, What come this to do? And he spoke, saying, These are the horns which have scattered Judah so that no man did lift up his head. But these are come to free them, to terrify them, to cast out the horns of the Gentiles, which lifted up their horn. 
over the land of Judah to scatter it. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in our hearts in the name of Jesus. If your life is not the way it should be, you need prayers. If your life is going the way you think it should be going, you need more prayers. So when we talk about intercession, doing warfare, in a service like this on a Thanksgiving Sunday, for the Holy Ghost who have laid this on my heart, maybe there are battles that you are going through, or there are battles that you are about to go through, and God wants us to be proactive we are more than conquerors. We're not fighting into victory. We are fighting from the standpoint of victory because God has given us a headway. We are an army of occupation. We are maintaining the victory that we have. And the communion of today is the communion for victory and speed. I told the bishop this morning, this was what God laid on my heart. Victory and speed and this shall be your portion in the name of Jesus this is a very familiar passage of the scripture how can somebody or some forces say that no head will be lifted in Judah not Babylon not Iraq not the Gentiles but Judah we are praise is we are God doers. The book of Psalms tells us, praise awaits thee, O Lord, in Zion. The, the headquarters of God in Judah, in Israel, in Jerusalem, of all places, that no head will be lifted. They had a mission. And they were very specific about it. They were going for the people's head. Your head is the most important part of your body. You can do a heart transplant. You may not have legs and still be alive. You may not even have hand and still be alive. Something may be wrong with your stomach and you still be alive. But your head, your head, that's the most important part of your body. That's where your central nervous system is controlled. That's everything, everything about you. And that's what the devil goes for. The most important relationships in your life. The profitable things in your life. The things that matter most in your life. That's what the devil, that wicked devil goes for. But he's a liar. You are more than a conqueror. And we are victorious. In the book of Isaiah chapter 38 and verse 14. Isaiah chapter 38 verse 14. We see how the prophet cried unto God. It says, my eyes fail with looking upward. Oh Lord, I am oppressed. Undertake for me. A prophet was screaming to God, undertake for me. And when it's time to pray, you must also tell the Lord to undertake for you. God must undertake for you over that matter. You must laugh last. Your enemies must be put to shame. Whatever is it that is threatening your destiny, God will undertake for you. In 1 Samuel chapter 17 and verse number 5, 1 Samuel 17, 5, after David killed Goliath, even before David killed Goliath, you see, the Bible says that Goliath covered his head. He had a helmet of brass upon his head. He was very intentional. He knew that if his head was tampered with, then something will happen. But when David killed him in subsequent verses, David cut off his head. David knew that if he cut off his legs, he may still be alive. When I say a cockroach, I hate cockroaches. When I say a cockroach, the first thing I look for is the head. Because those cockroaches, I don't know whether they are demon possessed. You kill them, they are still doing like this. Hmm. One day I said, I will not even kill this one. I put something on top of it. I woke up in the morning. It, it, it stood up. So I always go for the head. David went for the head. When you go for the head, then everything is finished. And that's why these people, these wicked people said, 
nobody's head will be lifted. Because when your head is lifted, your body follows. When your head is lifted, your finances, your academics, your marriage, your health, everything. In the name of Jesus, your head will be lifted. In Genesis chapter 3 verse 15, God was very particular. God said, the enemy will bruise your heel, but you will bruise the head. The head, I'm just trying to let you know the importance of the head. You will bruise, your seed will bruise the head of the devil. That's what we want to do this morning. In Genesis 40 verse 13, Genesis 40 13. In three days time, Pharaoh shall lift your head. Why didn't he say he will lift your hand? He shall lift your head. In Genesis 49 verse 26, Genesis 49 26, he says, let the blessing be on the head. The head, the head of Joseph. In Exodus 29, talking about the composition of the anointing. God was giving instruction. You will anoint the head. Psalm 3 verse 3. We want to pray according to scriptures. That's why I'm giving you these scriptures. Psalm 3 verse 3. Thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. Lifter up of my head. If you're tired of where you are, then you will pray this morning. Lift my head, O Lord. Undertake for me. I'm tired of where I am. I need a lift. I need to be greater than my mates. I need to do better. I need to run faster. I need to be more victorious. My marriage should be better. It's a shame if the devil is having a field day in my family. Lord, lift my head. Psalm 23 and verse 5. Thou anointest my head with oil. And my cup runneth over. Psalm 140 verse 7. Psalm 140 verse 7. O God the Lord, the strength of my salvation. Thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. Cover my head, Lord, in the days of battle. Let me analyze. I want to lead you to pray about eight major things this morning. But before I go into it, everybody, please stand up. I want you to shout unto the Lord, Father, cover my head in the days of battle. <laughs> This prayer is for you. Nobody is praying for you. Pray for yourself. Oh God, cover my head in the days of battle. No arrow will hit me. In the name of Jesus, thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory and the lifter up of my head. My head shall not be bowed by situations. Undertake for me, O oh Lord. Undertake, 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 undertake. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Take your seat. You're going to be standing up very soon. You're just warming up. He says there were four horns. And I want to use just that to make us pray against eight major things. The first thing that I see as a horn that makes people's heads not to be lifted is the tongue of men. Tongue Tongues, tongues of men. Some of you are very close to people that are in my, I'll do a transliteration, that are doing you. Quote and unquote. You tell them everything, every move, and they circumvent you. They go ahead of you to your helpers, and they pull you down. You are so trusting, you are careless. You tell your matters. Because we work in the same office. She's been my friend from primary school. One little thing from your husband, you must tell the lady. One tiny thing, you must tell the man. And you say, because she tells me her matter. If she's that stupid, let her continue. Why must you join her stupidity? Why must you continue to tell your matter? They have information about you. That if you did not give them, they wouldn't have had. I learned my lessons. And I burnt my fingers a few times. Tongue of men. Let me remind you. That it was Ziba that implicated Mephibosheth. 
It was the bar that went to David to speak against Mephibosheth. Until tomorrow, Mephibosheth did not recover. Tongues of men. People that know how to paint lies. I've seen things. This said that, said that, this one said that, this didn't say that. Until you bring the two of them together and say, did, did. say, I thought that was what you said. You know them now. You've been victims before. Just to discredit you. You make some people your referee. And the kind of rubbish they will write. You wonder why the company did not call you back. Tongues of men. Please drop your Bible. We want to pray eight prayers. Put your Bible, put your books on the seat and stand up. Yes. There are people that understand what I'm saying. They were the first to jump up this morning. You're going to pray. This is Thanksgiving, you remember? And the Bible says, let the people praise thee. Then the earth shall yield her increase. This is one of the ways by which God allows the earth to yield her increase is by exposing some things to us. You want to pray with your mouth. Every tongue that rises against me anywhere, whether I know or not, or that is rising against me, whether online, whether physically, in any way, in the name of Jesus, you will not prosper. Is anybody praying this morning? Every tongue that rises up against me in judgment. Few minutes and we are done this morning. Tongues of men. Every tongue, every negative thing going around about me. Every, anybody anybody whether you are typing it whether it is on whatsapp whether it's uh, by message any negative thing you are saying about me or saying about my loved ones or saying about my ministry any negative thing you have said before that has destroyed relationships in the name of jesus i rebuke i cancel i destroy you will reap the same thing you will repeat every intention that you had to make sure that I was discredited. May the Lord turn it upon your head. In the name of Jesus. Every tongue that rises up against me. Every finger that rises up against me. In judgment I condemn you. My head shall be lifted. My head shall be lifted. In 2023. Oh God. The tongue of men will not scatter my destiny. The tongue of men will not scatter my business. The tongue of men will not scatter my ministry. Will not scatter my home. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon everything that has my signature. The tongue of men will not affect my lifting. The tongue of men will not affect my lifting. In the name of Jesus. Go back to the sender. Everything you wrote about me, you will repeat. You will repeat. You will repeat. In multiple fold, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. I believe this is the Holy Spirit. Tongues of men. We now want to switch it over. You know, somebody did something, something. I don't even want to go into the details. But the person called me recently and said, even though you missed that particular one, I'm giving you a better one. To the shame of that person. The person doesn't know yet. And I'm just telling to myself, I'm saying to myself, <laughs> the day this person will hear that it was this same person that God used to give me another, a better one. He said, don't worry. He thought they can use their tongue or their finger to do something. I'm giving you a, a better one. A better one. God can turn it But people, what you type about people, the WhatsApp messages that you send. Because you don't know that those people that you are using their head to hit, they can become friends. And they will show. See, God even has a way. God has a way of exposing. This service, I've been praying since yesterday over it. So when I tell you to pray, pray. There are people that are using their tongues or their fingers against you. I want to deal with them and tell them, whatever they intend, let it go back to their head. You want to destroy relationships, let it go back to your head. You cannot scatter Judah. You cannot scatter Israel. You cannot scatter my life. You cannot scatter my business. Let it go back to your head. Let it go back to your head. In the name of Jesus. Every tongue that rises up against me. In the name of Jesus, go back to your head. Whatever you intended, it will go back to your head. 
Tongues of men, tongues of men, tongues of men. Yekele mo shete li bragaska. Nagata yabo gozoto yo bragoshen to li baga. This is a victory service. Go back to your head in the name of Jesus. Every negative thing you have said, so and you intended that you work against me, you will repeat. You will repeat in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. The second horn I want you to deal with is evil intention. There are people that have evil intention. I was praying for someone this morning and I said, God, look at my heart. I don't have any evil intention against this person. But see the way this person is doing. I was praying this morning. I said, I don't have, you are the God that sees the hearts. Search my heart, Lord. There are people that have evil intention against you. So why is Mr. Dejimo praying like this this morning? I got it from the Lord. I got it from the Lord. And it's a bit to save some of you. Some of you, you are so good. Naturally good. You just trust anybody. But you don't know that world. You don't understand that spiritual things are real. You think everybody's like you. Let me shake her now. I didn't do anybody. Any. Spiritual warfare is real. Pray this prayer. It may be that God sent me to you this morning before you enter into the week to deal with some situations. Every evil intention, go back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Every evil intention, you will not touch my life. You will not touch my husband. You will not touch go my back, children. Back, you will not touch back. my grandchildren. You will not touch our business. You will not touch our ministry. Every evil intention, go back to the sender. We shall not be scattered. We refuse to be scattered. This is a victory service. This service is about giving me victory. Victory. Victory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Remember this Zechariah didn't talk about unbelievers. He said, we came to scatter Judah, to scatter Jerusalem, to scatter Israel. So there are battles against you as a believer. You know politicians, you are in APC, you will send some people to PDP to go and be, the person will be doing just to get information. You are in PDP, you send somebody to a labor party, you know politicians, how they do it. All of them, they are the same. There are people that are in your life, they are doing well, they, they like you, but please be very careful. I'm not saying you should suspect everybody. But don't just let down your guards anyhow. In this ministry, there was a year. I can even say it. During a bad When they invited my husband to come and read, you know what thing, they'll watch a video. And my husband said, let me go and ask the one that sent me to Akure. Three days after he came and said, the one that sent me here said I should not go to Abuja to watch the video. See what happened after that. A young man showed up stayed in church for some time and offered to be driving the bishop and then we had a woman here who was the wife of an ambassador of Nigeria to a particular country so this young man they met and the woman said ah uh ah -uh, what did bishop Adejimo do you know I know you now you are also an ambassador's wife. That pain. You want to bug Papa's car. This young man can carry our Bible. But God raised somebody to alert us. Some of you, you are so good. But there are people that have evil intentions. And you are doing them well and all that. And your wife will be telling you, Shora. Somebody will tell you, be careful. Don't say everything. It was my father that taught me this thing. Love everybody, but trust a few. And if you don't know who to trust, then be careful. Every evil intention against my life, you will not see the light of day. Pray. I will not Every get into any Jesus trap. Against my life, you will not see the light of the day. I will not Every use my own cloth to cover wicked people. Every evil intention. I delete you from my destiny. Against 
By the blood of the Lamb, it returns back to the sender. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. The next one, we are, we are dealing with hands. The next one is what I call family causes. If you are an African and you are in this sanctuary today, you have your own. I have my own. In my extended family, they are very poor. Labor, labor. We can read. We are very intelligent. My cousins, degree upon degree. But to have money. So when I got I began to search the scriptures. That's why I tell people, so this thing helped me to get out of poverty. But if you don't want to, so sit inside your poverty. Let me be going my life. Sit there. I'll be talking rubbish against church. And sit down there. You know your own. Some of you in your families. The man. No. One woman cannot have children for him. He must by mistake impregnate another person. In his life. How can one person have children for him? Some of you. First born girls. They don't. They don't. Some of you. Your boys. Is diabetes. I know what I'm talking about. Because I've suffered it too. Some of you, your girls, they are, they are husbands hardly prosper. They are the ones that must feed the man. Africa. Oh, you both still have their own, no? Their own demons. Maybe speaking English, but demon is demon. No, sure, you know. Sure. Demon is demon. Cold doesn't, eyes doesn't handle their own demon. They are sipping coffee, but the demon is dealing with them. In our own, we know. There are some. The men don't prosper. It's only the women. There are some. Nothing comes so easy. That's their song in their family. Some. Marriages don't stand. Even if they are married to the most anointed, something will shall happen. Some. Their wives, their spouses die. All sorts. Some is disfavor. The dogs that used to see them and wag its tail after some time begins to bark at them. Some, it is epileptic breakthrough. They prosper today where everybody is thanking God. But what is the low one now? They used to be wealthy. You must write jam five times. There's no time they will write an exam and there will not be a carryover. I don't know your own. I know my own. I know my husband's family's own. And I've been dealing with such in prayers. Go ahead. Come against family causes. Whatever is running in our DNA in our families. You will not scatter our destinies. Whatever is against destinies in our family, in the Felix Adejumo dynasty, in the Himikaye family, in the extended Adejumo family, I come against you in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not flow in our lives. You will not flow in my children's lives. You will not flow in my grandchildren's lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, every horn. That wants to scatter. Kaya, Bosa, Teli, Greg, Eshkan, Teli, Prosot, Adoboskoska. Ah, ya ya ya, Bosa, Teli, Bosha, Teli, Greg, Zenta, ya Bagaska. Nakata, ya Bosha, Teli, Bragaska, Zenta, ya Bagaska. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. For some of you, it is generational limitations. You go far, but not further than this. There is a ceiling over your license. Don't I try now. Don't try. We shall retire as a director. Don't try now. Level. Don't try. At least the man has a car. And his wife too has a car. Don't try. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. There are people that have better lives. They stole money. It's not that one Habalis gave them money. I'm talking about clean money given by God for the blessing of make it rich. There is a God in heaven that makes people rich. I am a witness and I'm a testifier. So is my husband. That you don't need to steal church money. You don't need to steal anybody's money. You don't need to be at the mercy of any politician and then your mouth cannot talk. There are people that are blessed. We still have them. 
any form of limitation. You saw it in your parents' lives. You saw it in your uncle's life. I want you to come against it. Break loose. Break free from it. Every limitation. In the name of Jesus, we shatter the ceiling. We shatter. I hope you are praying, oh. Today's service is a very strange one. We shatter the ceiling. In the name of Jesus, my life must be better. My life must be better. My business must be better. My ministry must be better. Every generational limitation. I come against you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every limitation. Every limitation. Every limitation. Every limitation. Hey, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have prayed. This one this may not be for everybody, but if you're a politician here or you work for an organization, you will need to pray it. There's what you call corporate embargo. Corporate embargo. The reason why some people lost maybe during the last election was because they went to a, a party. I'm not talking of presidential. I'm not. I'm the mother of. Because I have children in all the parties. I have the right to vote whoever I want. There are people that the corporation they work for, there's an embargo on it that people don't rise. They need a change of job. You see what is Mr. Adejo must say? In the Bible. In Luke chapter 2, Herod said, any child born around this time should be killed. Those children didn't do anything. This was a corporate embargo. Just because those children belong to a particular season, they were killed. They were killed for nothing. There are battles you fight just because you belong to a club. Or you belong to a group of people. I want you to exempt yourself. They say, ah, it's for everybody that sells tires. Ah, we call Legon for people that have hotels. Ah, we call Legon. Do you notice the way doctors are? Everybody that has hospitals. Corporate embargo. If you can pray in the Holy Ghost, that would be great. But otherwise, exempt yourself. I exempt myself from corporate embargoes. Every demanding corporate embargo. I exempt my business. I exempt my husband. I exempt my children. I exempt our children, grandchildren. I exempt our ministry. Our heads shall be lifted. Our heads shall be lifted. Our heads shall be lifted. Head shall be lifted. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. This next one, everybody should pray to. Evil substitution. Is the name I called it? Evil substitution. Spiritual things are real. I said this before. I was in Houston, and. Someone was taking me out and said, ah, mama, something happened. I said, what? He said, this woman, though, she had only one child. And her friends came to the house with their children and said they were going to sue him. He said, something, you will know it's the Holy Spirit because she's a child of God. He said, something told me not to allow my daughter to go. She said, but to please them. And she said, be careful, eh? be careful. They all left. While they were swimming, one of those children was drowning. It wasn't her daughter that was drowning. One of those children was drowning. And her daughter swam there just to alert, you know. And the coast guard came. Because as she was trying to pick up this girl, she was also going. The coast guard saw them and came to rescue the two of them. While he, was, while he rescued them, this was the story I was told. Her daughter fell. Her daughter dropped from the coast guard's hand. The man said, let me go and drop this one first. Came back. This girl was dead. Evil substitution. Somebody needed to die. In their coven. They needed blood. 
evil substitution. If you're a parent, pray. Oh. Whoever you are, pray. We shall not be substituted. Anybody dead will not see no more for you. We shall not be substituted. My husband shall not be substituted. My children shall not be substituted. My grandchildren shall not be substituted. I shall not be substituted. Every evil substitution. Jesus. Hey! Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. There are some of you that have been fighting battles ceaselessly. You've prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. prayed. You've fasted and fasted. There's this particular battle. Or these battles. Fight and fight and fight and fight. I'm giving you a scripture today. Put it on your phone. If you're in that situation, declare it every time. Psalm 46, verse 9. Psalm 46, verse 9. He makes wars to cease. You know, I must I fight, fight, fight. You have money, you cannot enjoy. Your cousin is sick. Your brother is something. This one is something. It's your money. You must spend it on them. He makes wars to cease. You see me? You need peace. First Kings 5 verse 4. You need peace now. A woman told me that she got married 23 years ago. Her husband has slept with her only four times. And the man is sleeping with another man. And the man is wealthy. How can you be married and you don't have peace? How can you have a business and you don't have peace? How can you be a human being and you are not enjoying your life? When you think there is peace, so something will just happen again. They will just call you again, your phone, hey, uncle, so, 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 is something, something again, no. When shall we have peace in this house, in this family? He maketh wars. And when God gives quietness, oh but Psalm 38, I think, I'm not really sure. You might help me get that scripture. When he gives quietness, no but can be trouble. I want you to come against everything that is troubling your life. God makes wars to cease. Every war I speak to you cease. Lord God, Jesus, peace. Hey, peace. I speak to you, peace. He make that wars to cease. Cease. Kilode. Cease. I jake kato kalo poka. Peace. Peace. In the name of Jesus, peace. Peace. Fingers are not equal. Why should our own be the shortest? Peace. Peace. In the marriages. Peace. In my marriage. In my life. In my business. In my destiny. In my career. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Every battle raging over your life, physically, spiritually, emotionally, financially, in every area of your life, today I decree that they end. In one hour's time, you will see a sign. Amen! Somehow, somehow, Heaven will rearrange things in your favor. Amen. You may not know how. You may not know when. 
But good news is knocking on your door. Amen. Where you have labored and labored and labored and labored, and it appears as if ah, today I decree that heaven pays attention to you. Amen. The Bible says that that night the king could not sleep. This is the day. When your helpers will not be able to sleep. Amen. 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 They will call you and they will bless you. Amen. They will call you and they will wipe away your tears. Amen. In Luke chapter number 13, this woman was bent for 18 years. One day, Jesus called her and ended dead the ship. This is the day the Lord has made. Over your destiny, they will call you and they will bless you. Amen! You will hear your name on radio. Amen! On television. Amen! He called thee was what they told Bartimaeus. People that had tried to shout you down. They shall call thee and bless thee. Amen. Some of you, your life speed has been truncated. You are too slow. You are making progress, but you are too slow. The God that took me from the Mary clay, the God that blessed me, the God that lifted my head, the God that made me, and the God that gave me a global image will visit your life today. Amen. Every impediment, I remove it from your life. Amen. As you partake of the communion today, I speak peace to your destiny. Amen. I speak peace to your life. Amen. As you partake of the communion today, I speak peace to your destiny. Amen. Make progress. Amen. You will begin to matter. Amen. I am just one village girl helped by God. And one of the things God used to help me is that he sent human beings to my life. And he gave me the wisdom to nurture profitable relationships. I didn't use my own hand to insult my helpers. I swallowed their mistakes. I pretended as if they were perfect. And today, I can testify that there is a God in heaven. He will not come down from heaven. He will use human beings. Therefore, from now on, the people whose hands your blessings are shall be kind to you. Oh God. There are some people that like you, but they don't have what it takes to help you. They really wish they can help you. Ah, you need that two million. I wish. I really wish. Ah, oh God. I ask that God in his might will bring into your life genuine helpers. For you and everything that has your signature. They will have what it takes to help you. They will be willing to help you. And they will love you as they help you. Bless each and every one of you today from the dimension of the apostolic grace of God upon my life. From today, your lives become simplified. What has taken you ages, struggles, you've even received insults, Jehovah simplifies. From this moment, God will be unusually kind to you. 
Everybody stretch your two hands towards the altar. Jehovah that I represent will bless the works of your hands. You will not be at the mercy of your mockers. You will not need the help of your enemies. Oh. The works of your hands shall be sufficient for you. From the north, the south, the east, and the west, queens of Sheba will come to listen to what you have and they will bring you blessings. I bless you with the blessings of the womb. I bless all of you with the blessings of the breast. From today, move into your destiny. Gain speed. Anybody, according to Psalm 109, that does not delight in your blessing. Blessing shall be far from them. Amen. Every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, I condemn it. Amen. You will soar. Amen. You will rise. Amen. You will do well. Amen. You will go well. Amen. And any one of you that is here that is not yet born again, I destroy the yoke of sin in your life. Amen. You will love God. Amen. You will serve him. Amen. And it shall be well with you. Amen. Thank you, Father. We receive these answers. I decree that their heads are lifted. In the name of Jesus. One more thing. With your own mouth, pray for everyone that is important to you. Hurry up. Your parents, your spouse, your siblings, anybody that is important to you, your pastor, your boss, pray, 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 pray. Anybody that if anything happens to them, it will affect you, pray for them. Be like that woman Rahab. She brought her family, she brought her people into her house. I take this scarlet thread, the blood of the lamb, put it upon the lintel of my life and everyone that is connected to me. There shall be no loss in my camp. I will not cry over anyone. I will not weep over everyone. Everybody that is important to me, by reason of this that God is doing in this service today, you are preserved, you are safe, you are blessed, you are protected. This prayer is not only for me, it is for my loved ones. My, the significant people in my life. People that if anything happens to them, my heart will break. No evil will happen to you. All my helpers around the world, no evil will happen to you. The mercy of the Lord protects us. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Let your amen be very loud. Amen. Please listen to me. The Holy Ghost will be doing what we call Ufofo to some of you. Some of you might need to put CCTV in your offices to see who is who. The Holy Ghost will be leading you. Don't just say, no, no, no. No, after this prayer, watch out. The Spirit of God will be guiding you. One lady said she wanted to enter the room. When she heard that they were talking about her, so she stood to hear. Some of you, God will be exposing people to you. They will not know that their phones are calling you back. You'll be hearing conversations. Such things, when I hear such things, listen, beloved, to me, what you write about me, is your true impression of me. Not your nail in them. That's me. I may be wrong. What you say behind me and I happen to hear is your true position about my life. I'll be foolish to think you are my friend. I forgive you but we may not be able to eat on the same table again. 
That's wisdom. Jesus didn't pray for Judas. He prayed for Peter. Now we are mates. We went to the same school. That is what is killing some people till tomorrow. Be wise. Walk circumspectly. The communion you are taking today is for victory and it's for speech. It's for victory and it's for speech. You will go away. You will overtake in grand style. In the name of Jesus. I bless all of you. We will not bury any of you. You will not be victims of anybody's mistake. You will not be victims of anybody's error. The mercy of God prevails over your lives. In the name of Jesus. Please be upstanding everybody. And let's give the Lord Jesus Christ a standing ovation. He's the head of the church. He's the mighty one. He's the king. He's the Lord. <laughs>